good, eh? So after two years, then I owned the Drita Stockton 270. I ended up selling it. Um, after that, I bought a 180, a Bushwacker 180. I really liked it, but it was not the freestanding. Now I bought something else, but I think um, I can now make a video about the Drifter Stockton and sharing my own experience and without being biased, without BS. So if you're interested, stick around. gap in between your car and the swag and you want your swag to be fully covered you need a wall otherwise you can see it will be in the rain the only downsides I have is the <clears throat> the size there's a, there is from here to the edge of the awning right here if it was bigger it would actually cover the the swag so it'll be more useful i i do like the back so the back is actually perfect for me completely covers you can be here you you sheltered i can have the fridge open the tailgate so the size at the back it's absolutely perfect just i found slightly small in this section as per length i think it's all right don't really use much some people some only have up to here so they might be cover the front door but doesn't really bother me this front section and I think with the side wall actually complements it. it it works a treat for me I don't need the rear wall I'm pretty sweet the material are completely different so this is Australian made canvas it's really heavy and thick this is more lightweight there's a <coughs> you can feel sort of plasticky feel not bad um, I have to say I contact Drifter straight away when I my wife bought it for me I was having a leak from here and from there it kind of a if it's if it rains a lot it still leaks in the seam right here so the only answer I got it was to buy um, water resistant material well they said if I if I wanted to be shipped from them I said yes it would be great but they never got back to me that's the only the only downside of the product it, it does leak slightly in this section what's up i need to close the awning you gonna help me huh are you gonna help me i need to pack up the awning mate yeah what are you doing i know what you're doing Steal my food, you cheeky. Okay. Yesterday night when I arrived, my awning was still a bit wet from the past trip. And literally throw frost all over. Now with a bit of sun, it's melting. Thank you. 
sorry for the smoke. Anyway, I just want to show you, here you can actually see having the swag on the stretcher. This is kind of a decent gap here for walking and access your car. Unfortunately, the awning doesn't cover your swag. That's why I end up, that's why I end up buying the wall. So the wall for me allows me to keep the swag on this distance apart from the car to be able at least to use this, this area. Otherwise it would be always in the rain. I mean half of it would be in the rain. So I do like the awning but I think this is made mostly for people with a rooftop tent. If you want to use it the same way that I'm using it, I think the, the wall is the, the only option to be honest.